Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with working with layouts and page configuration. Previously we have seen how you can work with the sidebars, but we have not seen it that if you want to configure your page, then how you can do. Suppose that you are designing a very good dashboard and you want to provide help section to the user and you also want to provide a support system where uh, user where users can report a bug then how would you do that so to do to those things you can either provide a link in the page itself but that that's not the right way to do that generally in the site there is a separate section where user gets a help and report a bug and know about the organization or builder who you have built that uh, dashboard so this is our sample application so in that you will be providing i mean i'll be showing you how you can provide these kind of sections you see there report a bug and get help and about all these things how you can design so that your user can report a bug and get a help and also you know know about yourself etc you can do and thereafter i'll be also showing you how you can do some default setting about the sidebars and overall page configuration let's go ahead first of all run our uh, you know this file so to run this file you need to run here streamlit run and then 09 working with layouts and page configuration and this is going to simply run it now i'm just going to refresh this this is our previous lesson now here it has refreshed to the current lesson working with layouts and page configuration so the first of all i'm going to set the page configuration to do that i write here uh, let me just always rerun so to do that i write here st dot set page config and in this page config first of all i set here the page title by default page title is not defined it is taken from here but now i'm going to define this page title and i see that it is cool app okay so this page title is defined from here now and it says that it can be called only once i'm just going to set it here so you see that the cool app is here defined and by default uh, you see there the icon is coming this one so i'm going to change it to something else i search here smile icon just get it from here okay in fact this is not icon actually i need to get that icon let me see if i can get it i doubt if this is going to work from here okay so i have just copied it let me see if this can be printed no so this is not the icon actually smiley i need to get there smiley smiley yep this one let's say i get it here so i write here page icon is equal to this one now you see that this icon got changed here so whatever you you know the select that you can put here as a page icon thereafter i'm going to provide here layout so there are two type of layout either we have a centered layout or wide layout so let me just show you the difference between these layouts so generally in wide layout if you put it into a full page so you will be seeing that this is uh, expanded to whole uh, uh, the page otherwise in the centered one when you provide this centered uh, you know the layout in the centered layout it is just centered all right do you see that so earlier it was expanded to everything but now it is centered there so that's the difference between this let me just put it here so that's the difference between centered and wide so i'm just gonna make it here wide thereafter initial sidebar status so currently initial sidebar state is auto that means if you uh, if your uh, you know sidebar is in closed form and if you reload your application it will be in closed form so i'm going to set it here as expanded so when your person loads application your sidebar will be in open state if you remember previously these sidebars were in closed state 
So now I'm going to just uh, set it as expanded. Once these things are done, let's go ahead and uh, set our sidebar. So st dot sidebar, and here I set here the title. I set here page configuration. Okay, now you check it here and if you refresh this, you will see that your uh, sidebar is opened here and if you put it into a full mode, then you will see that your sidebar is opened here. Okay, you can drag it and drop it here, something like that. You can drag it for the scroll, okay, just to change the size, you can close it then. And if you just refresh it, then you will see that this is again open. So whenever you refresh, it will be in open mode again. So how this is happening? It is happening because of, because we said that initial sidebar state is expanded. It is happening because of that. Now, if you check it here, you don't see any uh, other than about section and this about section is also empty and you don't see any other sections which we had seen earlier. So I'm going to provide that menu list now. So you can provide that menu items and there is a dictionary. In this dictionary, you provide here get help. And for that get help, you can provide a site. So that site I'm going to provide HTTPS forward slash. I provide here kgptalkie.com, let's say. From there, you are going to get help, let's say. And then I say that report a bug. Let's say thereafter you say that here HTTPS double forward slash www dot. I mean, again, I'm going to say that report a bug at the kjptalkie.com. And then you say that about section is there. In the about section, I say that this is about section. You can write about yourself. It's like that. If you reload this, you should be able to see these here. So there is about section. This is about section. You can write about yourself. There is a report a bug section, which is going to open KJP Talkie. Also, there is a get help section, which is also going to open KJP Talkie. So these things you can put in your application using this menu item. Okay, now you know about the sidebar configuration as well. Let's go ahead and see that how you can design the column section and thereafter we will be also seeing that how you can use the form and then how you can use the container. So I'm just going to first see the column section. So let's say if you want to write the two button, okay, side by side, not vertically but horizontally side by side how would you do that like let's say st dot button and you say that here button one and then st dot button then you say that here button two these buttons are coming here vertically but let's say if you want to put it side by side then how would you do that by default there is no option but you can do using column. So for that, you can do like call one and call two is equal to st dot columns. So here you can provide the number of columns which you want to use. So I provided here two. That's why I'm going to use these into two variable. Otherwise, you can simply do it as call. So it will return a list here and then you can use here call zero that's the first column the button one will be used there and then you can use the call one for the second column button two will be used there okay so you see there the button one and uh, button two should be used but again we are seeing that these buttons are coming here uh, let me just see that how okay so why this is happening because we have zoomed in this page a lot that's why that part was you know not coming uh, horizontally but uh, similarly let's say if you want to use uh, uh, 
right function as well so you can use that as well like call zero dot right and then you say that me thereafter call one and then you say that right and then you say that here me too so what you see there me and me too is there okay but again so these things you see there these are separated here evenly so this overall overall uh, you know the page width is divided into two parts since we provided here two and in one part this is getting used and another part this one is getting used let's say if you want to change the width so let me just explain it with the excel sheet so currently what is happening here let's say this is your whole width okay ah sorry so let's say currently this is your uh, you know whole width so what's happening here a has taken half his space and b that's mean me has taken half his space and me too has taken half his space but let's say if you want to say that a take only 25% of space and rest space is taken by b then how would you do that let's say th if this has a longer text data and this have a smaller text data then how do you do that for example let's say this have just a name and here someone name is very large name okay very large name so how would you do that so to do that what you can do you can divide this like call is equal to st call then you can provide here a list so in the list you can provide values okay let's say i provide 1 and 3 so here what happens here so for first column it is going to take a space how much 1 divided by how much sum of that list so what is the sum of this list it is 4 so how much it is 1 divided by 4 which is 25 percent and similarly for second one how much it is 3 divided by sum of list which is 4 so 3 divided by 4 which is 75 percent so if you write it something like this then the column will column 1 will take 25 percent and rest will take 75 percent now you can just copy this from here and put it here you will be seeing that in 25 percent is this one and rest 75 percent is this one and if you just copy this whole thing and you just paste it here you know the multiple times then you will see that this is changing from I mean this is expanding from here to here all right so that's how you can control the width of the columns all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson in the next lesson i'll show you the container form and tab all right i'll see you then